Hey, Team Peak, good um, Carrie and I are on tonight, and I know that Shelly and Sarah and Cami, uh, at least and maybe Dory, will be watching um, in the coming day or so. I'm going to shut the door because I got too much noise here again. But when I shut the door, I have a tendency to get an um, unstable connection. So hopefully we'll stay connected. So anyway, tonight, Carrie and I were just talking about um, some methods for reaching people. And she was just talking about in the few couple months, really, that she's been uh, sharing the business and opportunity uh, that hers have been one-on-one uh, -on -one and in-person contacts that she's really had the most success with. And um, Cami and I were talking, that's my daughter Cami, we were talking about doing more opportunity meetings, doing more sip and sees. Um, I'm going to research this some more. I know Sarah Marble and her mom have an opportunity meeting every Monday. Every Monday night they meet at a restaurant um, and the team meets for an hour before and the uh, potentials are welcome to come to that, but they generally don't. Then they come to the meeting in the back room where they uh, present the opportunity. And in our case, you know, a sip and see, just a 45 minute presentation like we did at Shelly's and like we did for Cami here. And the thing about it is that the testimonials, I was just so amazed when we did that, how uh, like with Cami, we had uh, Sarah and Josh and Carrie and Cami and myself and how we had, you know, five different people giving testimonials and um, you know how impressive that is. And, uh, you know, what an impact that makes to hear real life people giving their testimonials as opposed to just all product information. So I will get back with you about that. Um, but if anybody wants to, you know, wants me to come and meet with them with their potentials, uh, I could definitely do that. Or um, if anybody wants to have sip and sees opportunity meetings, I know we're working on one in Portland right now and I'm working on one that's gonna be here in a couple of weeks. So, um, and I definitely want you guys to come and bring your potentials. Um, to mine if you're able to. So um, anyway, we will talk more about that as time goes on. What we're really going to be uh, focusing on tonight is uh, the, the plexus numbers. Um, we've been reading Beachbody and here it is. And um, I hope that everybody is about halfway through. That would be about page um, 60 or so. Um, I know Cami just texted and said she just finished it and it was just excellent. I'm about halfway done. Um, and uh, one of the things I do want to say about, um, as far as I can tell, he, in this book, he says that it takes 20, well, first of all, let me back up when we talk about numbers. All right, because I, I like talking about numbers because I like concrete things that are, that are typical. You know, if this happens with this number, then this is what you can expect. And I like that because um, it's been proven over time and numbers are measurable. Numbers are the most measurable thing we can possibly have. Anything good, anything measurable is good. Anything good is measurable, right? I know in our homeschooling that was true. When we could tell how we were doing, we could tell, you know, if we were following our list, if we were getting enough books in, if we were getting enough pages in, everything measurable is good, right? Because you can tell where you're headed and you can tell, um, you know, how close you are to goals. And so I really, really love the numbers of network marketing. And I think it's important to put those in front of us and to, you know, dwell on those, so to speak, so that we can tell, um, you know, how close we are to different goals. Um, and that's one reason why I think the IPA sheets, and I have, you know, the five finger IPA sheet that I made, or this one here that cami has been using, um, these IPA sheets, they are measurable. Anything measurable is going to have you have a lot more success. You think about businesses, they have protocols, they have systems, they have things in place for measuring. And so measuring is, is great. And so, however, when you get to talking about numbers a lot with network marketing, it can feel like we're only after the numbers and it can start to feel less personable and less um, intimate. And we know that network marketing and especially something as, um, as important and as intimate as health, that network marketing is um, you know, very intimate and, are, and very personable and very relational. And so 
um, I always like to preface any number discussion with that, that we are balancing the personal bonus, the intimacy, the relational. We're balancing that with the numbers. This, these are what we can put in front of us to get there so that we have this. We have this so that we can get here, right? So they can't be unrelated. They're completely related to each other. But you can start talking about numbers and get to the point where it's like, wait a minute, I thought we just said this was a relationship business. And it is. But you have to have so many people contacted and so many numbers, so to speak, in order to be able to build the relationship in order to be able to help the people and in order to be able to bring hope and finances and health and so forth to the people that you're trying to reach out to. So yes, numbers, yes, relational. All right. So um, before I get into the video that we're going to do, I have an 11 minute video that is just blows my socks off and Ray and I like to watch it um, and listen to it together because it's just like, okay, this makes perfect sense. So anyway, but before I do that, since we are reading Beach Money and we're going to be talking about this, we still have one more Wednesday morning class tomorrow at 945. And that's going to be about the back office, one on Friday, and that's going to be about our why. And then next week we'll go down to two and then one, and then we'll just have our Tuesday night training again. So, um, but in the Beach Mo this Beach Money book, he says something about the number that he puts out is 20 to 30 ambassador, 20 to 30 distributors or downlines or um, uh, team members uh, is the number that he puts out there. 20 to 30 will get you to the top. It'll get you to six figures. It'll get you uh, eventually if you have 20 to 30, according to his book, according to the, his numbers, you have 20 to 30 distributors and so forth, you will go to the top. Now, it's important to note that whatever business he's in, and I'm not sure if that when he's talking about those numbers, if he's referring to his current one, which is send out cards, um, but whatever business he's referring to is um, not, I, I don't think their distributors are wholesalers. So let me explain the difference between that. We have, and I, and I believe it's the same way in like uh, the essential oils and different companies uh, that are, that are out there. You join, okay, we can, we have our customers, our retails, which we don't want them because that's a bad deal for them. We want them to get the best, the best deal they can, even if they don't want to be a wholesaler. So we want them to be preferred, preferred customers. So we have preferred customers and then we have ambassadors. Now in our line, uh, in our company, ambassadors can either be amb wholesale customers, so to speak, meaning they are customers who are ambassadors, but all they are is customers. They're just trying to get the best price on their products. They know they're going to get triplex every month, so they want to join to get the best price. And so when we have ambassadors, we have, you know, we have business builders and we have um, wholesalers. All right. Now, because of that, whereas I'm pretty sure the, the business that he's in, when you join, you're becoming a business builder and otherwise you're a customer. Now there are some companies like that. So this 20 to 30 number of people that he's describing that you need to go to the top, that's talking about 20 to 30 recruited in your, in your business, not 20 to 30 ambassadors in total, because you know, 20 to 30 ambassadors in total, you could have, so if you had 30, you could have 38 of them be wholesalers and only two business builders because of the way our business is, is set up. We can have preferred customers, which are great, and we want to be there for them, but then we can have wholesale customers, and some of those wholesale customers will also be business builders. So I wanted to make that point because um, I don't want it to be misleading when you see something like a, a network marketing company who, they're, when they join, they join as business builders only. Otherwise, they're just customers. And in those instances, 20 to 30 would get those people to the top. All right, so I want to be sure clear on that. Then, um, also, generally speaking, when I have asked um, jewels, jewels being um, emeralds, sapphires, and diamonds, when I have asked them um, how many, you know, ambassadors does it take to become a jewel, um, they usually say at least forty. All right. And then, you know, you hear of some who only have 15 to 20 ambassadors and yet they're, you know, emeralds. 
and you wonder how that could be, it's because of their 15 to 20, they recruited you know, five business builders who are doing the same things that they are doing. That's another important thing to note, that you're, in order to go to the top in network marketing or be in one of the top three levels, the jewels, which are six-figure earners, uh, between 130 and uh, 450,000 a year, um, starting with emeralds and then sapphires and then diamonds. Um, to be six-figure earners, you have to have three runners on your team who are doing as much as you're doing. That's a simple way of measuring it. That's a simple tool that we can use. We need at least three people under us who are doing as much as we're doing, right? So you can imagine my excitement when, you know, I have now team members who are working the business, you know, because it's like, wow, you know, this is really fun. You know, it's fun to, to help them grow their teams. And also when you help your uh, downline grow their teams, you're growing your own as well. You're growing your own business. And so and that's one of the things that's, that is so rewarding about network marketing, because when you help somebody build their business, you're helping yourself build your business also, right? And so nothing, you know, not that it would be wasted to help somebody else, but it's a double blessing to help somebody else and then also have the benefit too. So we are going to go to screen share to watch this video where Melissa Eichenhorst, one of my favorite diamond trainers, um, explains, not that one, okay, explains, um, and the video is called, just for those of you who want to look it up on your own, who is your 76? And um, this makes sense. I think that it'll really bless you and let you see, um, and, and let me say, you know what, my goal is 100, 100 total ambassadors, knowing that, you know, X number percentage will be uh, will drop off, X number percentage will grow the business, a small business, and X number will grow um, a big enough business to build my organization with me. So anyway, I'll let her explain it. It's really good. I am super excited about this training today. I want you guys to promise me that you're going to watch it all the way through because I think it is invaluable. Right now, I'm doing a book study alongside some amazing leaders on our team, and we are reading Rock Your Network Marketing Business. If you are serious about Plexus, if you are serious about your business, but you haven't read this book, you are not as serious as you think you are, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you don't have this book and if you haven't read it, it is a short, simple, easy read. Make sure you get this book. But I want to share with you something that the author talks about in chapter one. She talks about what it means to prospect. And in our business, we're always prospecting. That just means sharing our products and sharing our business opportunity. And she talks about it like you are digging for gold in your backyard. If someone told you that you had three gold nuggets in your backyard, you would get out there and you would start digging, right? You might dig all day the first day. You'd be hot and sweaty and exhausted, and maybe you didn't find any gold nuggets that day. But guess what? The next day, you would get out in your backyard, and you would keep digging for that gold. What if three weeks later, you didn't find any gold? You would go out there every single day, even if it was just for a little bit, until you found those three gold nuggets. What if after one month, you found one of your nuggets? That would be awesome. Would you give up then? <laughs> No way, there are two more out there, right? So it wouldn't matter how long it took you, but you would get to work in your backyard and you would find that goal. Now I want you to relate this to your Plexus business because it's very similar. The beautiful thing about the industry of network marketing is that you need just a few people and your life can be changed forever. So the author of this book was saying that she was at an event with the top income earners from many, many different businesses, and she found out something that was very interesting. And I think that this is really important that you guys hear this. But what she had discovered was all of these top income earners had been with their company for a minimum of five years. They had been with their company from five to 25 years. And each of them had sponsored anywhere from 50 to 150 people into their business. All right, there are a few things that I want you guys to know about what I just told you. Number one is, I want you to understand this industry that we're in, it is not a get rich quick scheme. It is not an overnight, life changing, your whole life is gonna be changed and you're gonna be a success. That is not what this business and this company and this industry is. This is about longevity, persistence, 
persevering um, through the difficult times. It is so true that the only way to fail at this business is if you quit. There's another great network marketing book out there called The Four Year Career. And I want our team to have the mindset. I want us to have the culture of understanding that that is what this is. This is a four year career. Now I was the teacher and if I wanted to move up in my profession, I would have had to have gone back to school, which would have meant time away from my family and it would have cost our family money. And in the end, maybe I could have gotten my administrative degree and I could have gone on to be an administrator in a school, a vice principal or a principal. Um, but in the end, it, even that, it would have created more debt and kept me away from my family. And in the end, the return on investment would not be even a fraction of what Plexus has been for our family. So I tell you that to let you know that I want you to commit. I want you to commit to working this business for four years. Because what else could you do that would give you the return on investment that Plexus gives you? What else could you be doing that is as fun as this? That you get to meet the most amazing people and have awesome friendships and go on amazing trips. It's fun. So maybe it's not happening as fast as you would like it to happen, but maybe your expectation is for it to move too fast. Now, the next thing I want you to know is that all of these people had sponsored anywhere between 50 to 150 people. They had personally sponsored them into this business. Now, here's what I would like to say to you. You are not allowed to quit Plexus. You are not allowed to say, oh, well, I'm glad it worked for her, but it didn't work for me. Until you have personally sponsored 100 people. 100 people, yes, you're not allowed to quit until you personally have brought 100 people into Plexus. Now, what if that took you a year? That's amazing. You're super sweet, okay? What if that took you five years? That's okay too, because the law of averages says that if you bring in 100 people into this business, you are going to have some awesome power partners that are gonna join you along the way. And I've used this analogy before, and I'm just gonna share it one more time really quickly. You know, if you had, if we were betting $100, and I had a coin, and I was gonna flip it one time, would you bet your $100 that it was gonna land on heads? Probably not, right? Because there's a 50% 50 chance, 50 chance it would, 50% chance it wouldn't. But what if I flip that coin 20 times? Okay, you might be willing to put down your $100 to see if it's going to land on heads one time, right? Sure, absolutely. The law of averages says it's going to land on heads once. What if I flip that coin 100 times? And all, I, all we had to do is land on heads one time. Heck yeah, you would bet your hundred dollars. You'd be begging me to up the ante and make it a thousand dollars, right? Because the law of averages says you're gonna flip heads at least once. Now, this is the same thing with your business. You might talk to 20 people and you have dabblers and you have wholesale buyers and you have some people that are kind of interested, but if you talk to 40, then you have a better chance, right? Of bringing in someone who's really interested in working the business. And if you double that and talk to 80, then it increases more and 100, you're gonna find people that need what we have to offer and desire freedom that Plexus can offer, okay? So you're not allowed to quit until you personally sponsor 100. The beauty is it's not a race. Bring them in, plug them in, teach them, train them, teach them about duplication and the power of three, get them started off right, and you will be successful. Now, what I think you guys are going to find is most interesting is what this has looked like for me and my business on our team. Now, our team has a lot of jewels. We have 14 jewels on Team Icon Horse, but I'm going to show you the one that I have personally sponsored into this business, and then I'm going to give you a what-if scenario. So, here we have me. We have Kim. She's a sapphire. I personally sponsored her, and she was the 20th person I had sponsored into this business. Laura is a sapphire, and she was the 24th person I had sponsored into this business. Kristen is an emerald, and she was number 29. Willie is an emerald, and he was number 40. And then Vicky is an emerald, and she was number 76. Okay, so why do I tell you this? Number one, what if I would have quit after?
after I personally sponsored 15 people into this business. I would probably be a silver ambassador or not. Maybe I wouldn't even be a silver ambassador. You guys, our lives have changed because I kept going. Because I kept going. Now, I want to let go really extreme here. What if I, what if none of these people would have joined me in the business? Kim, Laura, Kristen, what if none of them would have joined me, okay? And I would have still sponsored 40 people. Willie was my number 40, and Vicky was number 76. And when I sponsored her, I did the exact same thing here. I put her under Willie here, okay? She was my number 76. Now, I do want to say that Vicky, I sponsored her, I think, like, three days after my one-year anniversary. So you guys can see why my business has moved so fast, right? By year one, I had sponsored 75 people direct to me. What if it would have taken me three years to do that? Five years, six years? It still would be worth it because this is why. If none of these people would have joined me, I hope and pray that I would have continued sharing about Plexus and Vicki would have joined me at number 76. And if she did and none of them joined, I would definitely, 100%, for sure, be an emerald today. And so would my husband. We would be a double jewel family. Yeah. You guys have seen our pay structure. You guys have seen our income disclosure. Our lives would still be changed. There's a good chance I would be a sapphire because I had sponsored 75 people leading up to her, right? And all of those people would have been growing my business. So I say all of this to say, I've only been with Plexus for a little over three years. None of y'all have been in Plexus longer than me. It is worth it. Don't you dare give up before your number 76, before your Vicki Brown joins you. It would have been worth it. When I have been so discouraged, I suppose there's 75 people into this company and I, you know, I'm not Emerald yet. How could that be? But then, boom, Vicki comes along and would have changed everything for us. Now, I want to wrap this up, but I do want to know, I want you guys to know, Kristen, I had lunch with her today, actually, and Kristen has 15 people directly sponsored to her. Vicki has sponsored, I think, oh, like 140, okay? Mm -hmm. I have sponsored, like, uh, I've sponsored 116 direct to me. Um, Laura and Kim, I think they're somewhere in between definitely less than 100. I mean, Kim, I think she's maybe 20-something, okay? So there is no set amount, but you can't tell me Plexus doesn't work until you are working your Plexus business, until you are consistently, personally sponsoring people and bringing them in. And don't you dare quit until you have personally sponsored 100. Because I know that if you do, then the law of averages says you will have found your runners and your life will be changed. So I hope that this inspired you and motivated you. I'm so grateful for you guys and I hope that y'all have an amazing day. Okay, so um, I just think that that is really, really uh, encouraging and motivating. And, you know, I got um, actually got some sticky notes recently uh, that I picked up that I am going to use uh, to record how many people join my team. So, um, you know, until I get to 100, I'm going to put a number on them. And the bright pink ones are the ones that are working the business, and they may not be the ones who are working the business later. Um, but I'm going to put uh, going to put them all up on my bulletin board, and go for a hundred. Because, like she said, what do we have to lose if we go for a hundred? We don't have anything to lose. We only have the law of averages in our favor. So um, I was super, super encouraged by this, and just thinking, you know, if I add two a month, you know then, um, you know, this can, then this can continue and I can continue to grow and eventually get to 100 where the law of averages will definitely be in my favor. So, um, Carrie, you have any questions before we close? 
no questions, but my goodness, that's really encouraging. I mean, yeah, it's, cool. it's quite a goal to try and reach for sure. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, you think about, um, two, two a month and I, and, uh, am I still here? Yeah, you're good. Okay. And uh, Ray and I actually, we, we when he first I first started, you know, he was saying I was saying, you know, well, I want to, you know, get this many and this number of time, whatever. And he said, well, really, I think we should count customers because knowing that you can move them over to ambassadors, and actually, customers that move over to ambassadors are really, really good because they've already said, you know what, I've done this for three months and I like it well enough, and I know I want to stay on it enough to be an ambassador. So, you know, in that mix, but, but let's say there are two ambassadors per month and following the four year career book, which is very similar to beach money, but it has um, more like mathematical formulas in it. Uh, it's very short, only like 60 pages, but following the, the mathematical formula of two per month, that's 24 a year. It literally will be a four year career in that regard. You know, four years of, you know, well, the first year I didn't have to do training and stuff like that. So I probably only worked, you know, five to seven hours a week. So then three other years of 15 to 20 hours a week to, to have be set for our retirement. That's just not that much time, um, you know, compared to jobs and things like that. So again, we're going to balance the relational aspects and the intimacy and all of the things that we need to be to our people with these numbers, knowing that the law of averages are in our favor, as long as we keep moving. So I just, I, that's like my fifth time to listen to that video. I just think it's fantastic. And, um, you know, when people say you can't make it in network marketing, everybody says, as long as you keep going, as long as you keep going. And, you know, especially with social media, we have the opportunity to build our brand and to bring people along who are like, I really like Carrie's lifestyle. I really like Carrie's life. I like that life. I want that life. Or, you know, I really like Donna's cooking tips. I really want to do that. I want to be more like that where I don't eat junk food and stuff like that. And whatever our brand is, then we have way more opportunity to bring people in than they used to back with just cold calls and, you know, phone calls and door to door and all that. So, um, Anyway, I think it's super, super exciting and I'm here to help you. So let me know what you guys need and um, how I can help you talk to your potentials and um, we can build, uh, get our 100. So anyway, uh, I'm going to close out for now because I'm about to lose power and um, <laughs> we will talk tomorrow morning about back offices. So I'll get some uh, hard work tomorrow morning. I I will be brave. I'll be very brave. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know me and my technical aspects. So I'm going to try to put this up. Um, if it doesn't go up, then Jessica can help me figure it out when she gets back. But I'm going to try to put it up for everybody else. So anyway, I will see you later. Have a good night. Thank you, Donna. Bye-bye.